You've almost certainly seen this flag. You probably even know what it was for. It was a flag flown by the Eureka miners when they rebelled in the Eureka Stockade of 1854. They rebelled against the charges they were being asked to pay for mining gold. And these days it represents all sorts of things. In those days it did too, but the symbolism was thought to be this. There was a cross there representing the Southern Cross and the five stars represented the five colonies of Australia. It was before the day of states. Well, there are a lot of stories about that flag and a couple of unanswered questions. One of which is this. Does that flag have anything to do with this flag? You see this flown along the Murray. It's flown by the paddle steamers there. It's even flown by small boats and Murray Towns flag. In fact, it's often known as the Murray River flag. If you look at it, you'll notice very interestingly in the top right hand corner, there's a cross with the five stars, rather like the Eureka flag. Well, its story, the story of that flag really starts in the heyday of the paddle steamers. And they used to go up and down the Murray and its associated rivers looking for trade. There are a lot of them. There's still a few today, but the first of them was built in 1853 and it was the Mary Ann. Now, nothing is left of the Mary Ann today except her boiler. And it's a monument on the foreshore beside the river at Manham. You can go and inspect it. It gave them a lot of problems. It was built square and the blacksmith swore it would burst. And in fact, when they fired it up, it bowled so much they rushed off and hid in the scrub. But in fact, it outlasted everything else on the Marianne and it's a monument today. The interesting thing about all that is that in 1853, this flag was flown for the first time on the bow of, wait for it, the barge Eureka. And the story was that that part, like that part of the Australian flag is the English flag, there we've got the cross with five stars, very much like the Eureka, and those four lines down there were said to represent the four rivers of the Murray system. The Murray, the Murrumbidgee, the Lachlan, and the Darling. All the rivers up which the paddle steamers had to go in search of trade. So the question is really this. Did this flag, in 1853, flying at the bow of the barge Eureka, have anything to do with this flag flown one year later at the Eureka Stockade? To this date, it's put down to coincidence only.